comes the Border Patrol. Oh. On the Mexican border, oh. the Canadian border, oh. the Pacific coast, the Atlantic coast, the Gulf of Mexico. Oh. 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 The Border Patrol is on the job, guarding our boundaries by land and sea, by day and night. Uncle Sam Sentinel. There are 12,000 miles of boundary around the United States. Of this, 1,892 miles extend along the Mexican border. But don't forget that the Border Patrol covers more territory than that. The tireless men of the Border Patrol often go far into the interior of the country in order to pick up an alien who has slipped through. And that brings us to the story for tonight. The Two-Tone Car. Down in Nogales, that city that's three quarters in Mexico and one quarter in the United States, on the Mexican side of the barbed wire in a restaurant, with a shady reputation such a meek little woman and her small dog. Do they have a car hot tamales in America, Mama? Si, Dolores. <laughs> and they have it the hot dogs, too. It's so wonderful in the United States. You must say it that way. The United States? Si. The United States. In America? Si. Please, 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 Mama. Oh, very soon, Dolores. My little pigeon is what they call citizen United States. It's very easy for us to go. Um, not sure, Mama, please. Too much it will make my baby see. I start that Mama is no feel so good for the trip. Uh, you must not give trouble to your so good Papa, too. Mama. Say, Dolores. Say, Mama, what you say, citizen United States. And you and Papa are not. You were born in Flagstaff, Arizona. He is in the United States. You must remember all time when people ask you that you were born in the United States. Mm-hmm. Mama and Papa were born in Mexico. Both we lived in the United States long time. Dolores Lopez was born in the United States. See, Mama, I will not forget. My dad, she was born in America, too. Not for that? Uh, you must not be funny. Always talk the good English, Mama teaches you. The teacher speaks English. So I guess we both speak the hand. Listen, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> you must be very careful what you that does. Papa is saved much money for to get it. In Mexico, it's not many American girls like so. I am most careful, Mama. Hmm? All the time I keep the people local so close. Oh, Papa is so good. It's too bad he's got the eyes together to know it like he's got. Yes, I am, Chiquita. Your papa never must you say so. In the United States, they call him the cross eyes. Oh. It makes him very angry. Why did papa stay at that man's table so long? He's talking to him about getting into America, into a star of the middle. Mm-hmm. Did that man know it? Mm-hmm. He's called him El Sueco. El Sueco? What do you mean that, Mama? It means the living one. The man she walk on one side. Like this, Mama? Kuplak, 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 But you must not make this fun. Give me a state of his face. Mr. Lopez, it much grieve me to tell you. You say you and your wife and the little one live in the United States for many years. Si, Senor El Sueco. Will be no trouble to going back. No, it's for that. We live there 10, maybe 15 years. The muchacha Dolores is born in America. An American citizen, she is. Too bad, too bad. What do you mean, too bad, senor? It's good. To me, it's very good. The United States, she is one fine country. And why you leave United States? When we come from United States, we, we were rich at I think I have little rancho in Mexico with my people. But I see my people is all gone. My, my money, she is all spent. She's starving almost. So now I must go once more to the United States. I have the brother-in-law, the one who is hosting of my sister. She lives in flight. And his brother, does he have money? Si, senor. He tells me there is much work for me to do. Uh, he's for a man. I know understand. The little one is American. I have the work for to do in Flagstaff. I only must go to the office of the immigration. Santa Maria. By all means, do not do that. Ah, uh, you have not heard. Poor my mother. 
What do you mean, senor? There is new law and new officiales. Oh, those officiales. How well I know the delays the greed of those men. How much it cost you. Senor, I, I have paper. And first we go to the United States. I have keep the, the paper for my wife. And the, what do you say? The certificate of the birth for the little one. Mm. Possibly, she is possibly. Uh, may I see them, please? Senor, I keep them safe. One yes. moment to wait until I put on the glasses. Uh, uh, ah, but these papers, they are no good. How long is it now you are in Mexico? It may five years next fiesta. The United States fiesta. Fourth of July, tomorrow. The Lord is what a wee woman. We carry him in our arms. And now look. She is half as tall like me. I the we she grows. Mr. Lopez, I know much about this law. To me, it's seen your case. It is hopeless. It will cost you at the smallest $1,000 to get into the United States. But I, I have only, only $25 in American money. Uh, you do not believe me. Uh, then perhaps you will go to the immigration. Perhaps you will have your picture on the wall like Batman. Perhaps you put in jail. Perhaps you'll be sued. Oh, no, no, Senor Alcueco. How can it be so? Oh, this law, he changed. We who live so close to United States, we know. We must go to United States. We were so happy there. And my love is to give me a... How the little one, too. You understand? She wants baby to be Americano, too. Like the Lori. What must I do? Uh, you are a good hombre, Senor Lopez. El Chueco like you. And when El Chueco likes someone, he try to help them. Senor, what can you do? One thousand dollars. Hit you on wall like Batman. I love them. The Lori to be shoot. I think. I will try to do something for you. Let me ask my friend, Senor Molino. He is American. He knows the tricks well. Wait right here. I see him. I see him. Molino, come here. Quick. All right, all right. What is it? I have a nice job for you. Huh? I see this look, kid. He has wife and little one. They want to go to the United States. Oh. Uh, they do not know it is so easy for them to cross the line. The little one is American born. They have the paper. All perfect. Well, they know the law. Uh, nothing to the law. I have them all. Oh, so scared. I have told them they have to pay the thousand dollars to the immigration. <laughs> <laughs> and they believe it? Easy. Oh, easy. <laughs> you spoil it, everything. You <laughs> take it, take it. Yeah, but this, this is Lopez. You got a lot of dough? No. Oh, money. I, uh, I, uh, that part is not too good. He has 25 dollars. Oh, not a chance, not a chance. Uh, he has the brother-in-law flag there, which has much money. Oh, that's the horse of a different color. Oh, eh? oh no, no. You take him by automobile, not all. Oh, skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Sure. You send telegram to brother-in-law, get money, take Lopez to Flagstaff on 4th of July and get the... Uh, how much you say, Molino? Uh, I'll do it for $75. A poor man. We do him a favor, huh? See, si, see, si, we do him a favor. <laughs> With all their careful plans, however, these notorious smugglers didn't count on one thing. The border patrol. El Suico and Molino were being shadowed by an undercover agent who secretly reports their activities to Walter Miller and Nick Burton. At the Border Patrol station, they immediately go into action. Operator? 379, please. Hello? Hello, Milk there? Yeah, this is Nick. Say Milk. Get him in the cover car. Send it over to the station. No identification mark. Not even red spotlight, see? But leave the siren under the hood. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The siren under the hood. Okay, goodbye. Hey, let me have that phone, Nick. Hello? Give me one, six, three. Now, don't he? Now, tell Mother I've got to go on a trip. Now, pack me a bag and lay out some ranch clothes for me. Yeah. See you in a couple of minutes. I'll get into some ranch clothes, Nick. Meet you in ten minutes. No time to lose. Yeah, I'll say there isn't. Our informant wasted the whole day. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was time wasted. He had to be careful not to arouse suspicion. We got the dope about Molino. 
He's driving that two-tone red and tan car here. Ned and Miller hit the road to Flagstaff on the night of the 4th of July, keeping a sharp lookout for a two-tone car. They drive all night at top speed, not knowing how much of a head start Molino has. Their only hope lies in catching up with him on the open road before he reaches Flagstaff. But luck is against him. Yeah, it's almost the last filling station said a party sitting on the station stopped there early this morning. We're not far behind them. Yeah, there's some description you got, too. Pedro Lopez. Cross eyed, pox marked, short, and stocky. <laughs> I don't see how anybody with an eye in his head could miss him. Yeah, it sounds like a tough customer. So is Molino. We might have a handful of a catch up with him. Yeah. Hey, hey look. What's that? There's a car coming towards us on the curb. Huh? Where's the binoculars? Right here. Here they are. You see anything? It's Molino's car, all right. Yeah, I thought that two-tone job was just anywhere. Is he alone? Oh, it looks like it. Ah, we cut it to him. Dump that alien. No, no. Hold on now. I think I see something in the back seat. Yeah? Molina may be toting something back to Mexico. Oh, well, ten miles from five there. Now, here he comes now. Uh, you see anything in the back seat? Yeah, there was something there. Yeah, it might have been like so. Yeah. Well, look. I'll turn the car around. Let's go out. Okay. 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 Now step on it, Walter. Right ahead of us. Yeah, right up there. Yeah, okay. All right, give him the start. Go ahead. All right, right. that Pedro Lopez is a dangerous criminal. Will they find Lopez and his innocent family? Will these poor, bewildered people be prosecuted for crimes they have never committed? Listen in next week to the concluding episode of this story and find out what happens to the owner of the two-tone car. <laughs>